I am so excited to talk with you about all of the beautiful things that I have found for fall at Amazon. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia. I am a personal stylist and my passion in life is to help plus size women look and feel their absolute best. I believe that everyone deserves to look and feel beautiful regardless of size or age. And part of my job as a personal stylist, of course, is to shop, which is something that I love to do. I scour all of the retailers out there so that you don't have to. Amazon can be incredibly overwhelming. There is so much out there, but that's why I'm here. I'm here to sift through all of that stuff and bring you the best of the best. I try to keep this video as much as possible to the Amazon house brands because there is where I feel that you get the most consistent quality and sizing. My favorite is the drop. So a good chunk of what I'm talking about today comes from Amazon the drop. And then I've got a few things from other sellers outside of Amazon's house brands, but it's because they have really great clothes and such that I want to talk to you about. I will have everything listed in the description bar down below. I'm also going to pin everything to a comment on this video. I'm going to number everything that I talk about because we've got 25, 25 amazing plus size fashion finds that you just absolutely need to know about. So check the number down there. It's going to correspond with what I am talking about here. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Jumping in with this red dress, it is called the Layla Power Shoulder Twist Back Midi Sweater Dress. I picked it up in a size 2X. It comes in sizes extra, extra small through 5X. The color that I'm showing here is a candy apple red. It does come in five colors total, and it is made of 65% viscose and 35% nylon. Now, the thing about this this dress is that the back dips down lower than I thought it was going to. So you can see my shapewear underneath. By the way, I wear Honey Love shapewear, my absolute favorite, the only shapewear that I wear. They do make a low back version of the bodysuit that I am wearing. So I will have that linked as well, just in case you're interested in this dress but need something lower cut. Anyway, I really liked this dress, but being five feet tall, it fits me very, very long. It does have a slit on the side though, so it does move easily. I do like the knit on this. It is a really nice heavy knit. I think that this dress is beautiful for events this holiday season. That's why I picked it up in the candy apple red because it's very festive for the holidays, but they do have other colors available. Item number two is the Frida Relax Fit Jeans. Now I was intrigued by these because I liked the stitching in the front. I liked the fact that they were wide wide leg and I wanted to see what they were like because they really pulled a retro kind of look and feel for me. They are pretty long on me because I'm short and Amazon does not sell petite so you would have to have these hemmed if you are not 5'10". <laughs> I picked up the size 35. They carry sizes 24 through 42. This is in the color medium indigo. They do have three finishes available. These jeans are like, I think 95% cotton or 98% cotton and uh, like a small percentage of elastane for a little bit of stretch and give. I do like these jeans. I think they're really, really pretty. I think that they're really cool if this is a vibe that you're going for. But again, if you are short, you are going to have to have these altered. The next piece is the Amazon Essentials Twill Short Sleeve Top. I picked it up in the size extra, extra large. They do carry sizes extra small through extra, extra large in this little top. I picked up the Black Chelsea Tartan. It does come in eight different patterns, like small little micro ditzy, florals. Uh, I think they've got like an animal print or two, and then they've got two solid colors. I really liked this plaid though. I love the colorway. I thought it was very moody and really cool for fall. It has sheared sleeves. It also has got gathering up at the neckline. It does have a button in the back that was really easy to do. It wasn't that hard. The sleeves also are not binding in any way. They're actually quite comfortable. I thought that this was a beautiful little transitional piece or layering piece for the fall and winter. It is in 100% viscose. So it is a really nice fabric, but it has no stretch. It does go a bit longer. Um, I would tuck it in because of the length of it, but you know, if you don't like to tuck your shirts in, it does have a longer hemline. Really, really pretty top. One that I would recommend. 
Next item is the Vivienne Balloon Sleeve Crew Neck Sweater. I picked mine up in the size extra, extra large. It comes in sizes extra, extra small through 5X. I picked up the flame red color, but they do have six different colors available. This is a 100% rayon sweater. I brought the red in, of course, because red is one of the trending colors of the season, as well as it's very festive for the upcoming holidays. I do like the puff sleeves. I think that that's a really cute touch. They do have a a little bit of padding on there to help kind of keep the little puff up but it's a beautiful detail for the shoulders especially if you are a triangle shape or a rectangle shape and you just want to bring a little bit of um balance to your figure i really like the sweater because it's got the beautiful puff sleeve and it's got a really nice long tight cuff on the wrist i think that that's very flattering because it is emphasizing one of the slimmer parts of your body so it is an incredibly flattering sweater you could wear it tucked in or you could wear it out it's not a very thick knit it is nice enough to wear layered under a coat or a blazer i think that it is a beautiful piece that you should consider grabbing because it's a really beautiful elevated basic sweater the next piece is another sweater it is the edith pleated shoulder v-neck sweater i picked it up in the size extra extra large it runs in sizes extra extra small through 3x it is made of 60 percent nylon 26 percent rayon and 14 percent polyester so this is very heavy on the synthetic fibers but it is incredibly incredibly soft i picked it up in the light blue but they do have five colors available this particular sweater has got such a really beautiful soft texture it very much reminds me of barefoot dreams you know that kind of squishy really really soft cozy sweater knit so even though it is heavy on the synthetics it is actually very soft very cozy really nice it's going to work beautifully in the winter i do like the fact that the sleeves have got that pleated detail they're not quite as puffy as the sweater i just showed you they do have a little bit of body to them so it does bring a little bit of visual interest to the upper arms it does not have that long cuff though like the Vivian sweater has so it's not as dramatic there but it is a beautiful sweater something that you know you might consider picking up I really like this light blue color I thought it was really pretty I'm feeling light blue obviously uh, right now and it's just a really nice way to add some soft color to your winter palette the next piece that I have for you is this Maya satin slip skirt I picked it up in a size 2x it comes in a size extra extra small through a 5x I picked up the color Silver Cloud. There are 24 other colors and or patterns available in this particular skirt. It is made of 97% polyester and 3% elastane. If those of you that were around during the summer, you may recognize this particular skirt. I did haul it back then in one of my Amazon summer hauls and I brought it in in an extra, extra large and I felt that it fit too tight so I didn't keep it. I decided to reorder it because of course a satin skirt is good year round and it is definitely something that is trending right now and so I wanted to try it again but I went up a size to the 2x and I'm I'm loving this skirt I think it is beautiful I think that it is such a pretty silvery champagne kind of color but they do have a lot of other brights they also have other neutrals and they've got some patterns available as well I 100% recommend this skirt I think it is beautiful and if you're looking for a really pretty satin skirt, this might be one to try out. All right, so we have the Lucia Wide Leg Velvet Trouser, and I picked it up in a size 2X. It comes in sizes extra, extra small through 5X. I picked it up in the Java Velvet. They do have it in three colors. The other two colors are like a deep sapphire blue and then black. These pants are made of 100% polyester. These are more like a crushed velvet. I brought them in because I thought it would be kind of fun to see what they looked like because the holidays are just around the corner. And if you don't like wearing dresses, maybe you prefer wearing pants, this is definitely one to think about trying. I really liked them. I thought that they were super nice, except of course they are very long. So I would have to have them hemmed. But despite that, if you are looking for a really pretty holiday piece, I think that this is definitely a pair of pants to take a look at. It's not an expensive alteration and definitely a pair of pants that you could wear throughout the entire holiday season, even Thanksgiving. Something that you could pair with a beautiful like ivory shirt, like the ivory crinkle satin shirt that I pulled in 
from Walmart in my last haul. I think that would look really pretty with this pair of pants, any of the colors, not just this Java color. The next piece is the Ada cropped boucle jacket. You know that lady jackets are all the rage right now and this one is so cute. I picked it up in a size 2XL. It does come in sizes extra, extra small through 5X. They only have it in this black boucle. It does have really pretty gold buttons and it has a really nice black trimmed neckline. It is 100% polyester and it is fully lined. For me, this sweater fits just a smidge, just the smallest bit tight in the arms, but it's not anything that restricts my movement. I would be able to drive in this. I could move around in it, no big deal. I think that it is a beautiful colorway. It does have a black thread in it that has a little bit of sparkle. It's got really pretty gold buttons. I think I already mentioned that. And it comes at a really great length. It fits wonderfully. And it's definitely a great little tweed jacket that you could pick up if you're interested in that particular trend. I think this one though will sell out. So you probably want to move quickly just because this type of jacket is so popular. And this one is so well priced. Then we have got the Valerie Cutaway Racer tank top. And I picked mine up in a size extra, extra large. It does come in an extra small through a 5X. I picked up the white one, but they do have six colors available. It is 91% modal and 9% spandex. I have to say that I am in love with this little racer tank. If you're looking for something that's a looser fit, then I would go up a size because the, the fabric is a bit clingy. It has a really nice thin ribbing to it. I really like the way that it fit close to the body because this is this would be a piece that I would definitely use for layering right now in the fall and winter underneath like a jacket or a blazer or a cardigan. Definitely something that I could see myself wearing even in the summer because it's so light weight. The fabric is so nice. I am definitely going to be picking up another one or two in different colors because these are those types of wardrobe basics that you want to have in your closet so that you can use them for layering and they are so transseasonal. You could wear them, you know, any time of year under sweaters, under jackets, on their own. Sheer perfection as far as basics are concerned. So I really like this one. So the next piece that I have is the one that you see me wearing here. It is the rib knit polo shirt. I picked it up in a size extra, extra large. It comes in sizes extra, extra small through 5X. They do have four colors available. I was just really drawn to the light blue because I wanted to add a pop of color to my closet if I ended up liking it and keeping it, which I'm going to, because I do like it a lot. It is 65% viscose and 35% nylon. So it does have a little bit of that synthetic fabric scratch to it, but nothing that is terribly uncomfortable. I really like this top. I think that it's one of those versatile pieces. I brought in a really pretty um, pop of color to my wardrobe, my winter wardrobe. It's an icy blue, which I think is perfect, especially in January. I tend to gravitate to these colors, but even now I would still wear it with uh, any kind of neutral, especially gray. It was going to look beautiful with gray. I'm pairing it with the Theor. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Vegan trouser. I picked up a size 2X. This trouser does come in an extra, extra small through a 5X. I picked it up in the color coffee bean. It, we do have three colors available, black and white included. However, the black and the white are sold out in some sizes. So you'll have to kind of... Um, look around a little bit and wait around to see if they're going to restock it. Of course, it is made of polyurethane. It's a faux leather. I like the pleated construction of this trouser. It doesn't have a lot of pleats. It only has that one single pleat, which gives a little bit of room to move around. I know that some of you can be a little self-conscious about pleating and your belly. If you're not though, I think this is an excellent leather pant. I really do like it. And I'm glad that I picked it up in brown because I do not have this color in my wardrobe. And they are very comfortable. I'm actually wearing them right now, sitting here talking with you. They're very, very comfortable. I'm not binding. It's not, they're not falling. They're not moving around a lot. So I think that for me personally, this is a keeper trouser. They're not overly long either. I don't think I could get away with wearing sneakers with these. I'm wearing um, them with a two inch heel. And I think if you want to wear them with a taller heel, they're going to look really, really fantastic. So I think that these are a great find. All right, the next piece is the Amazon Aware Point Tail Crew Sweater. I hauled this um, back in August and I really, really like this sweater. I think it is a beautiful sweater. I love the construction of it. I like the thickness of the sweater fabric. I like the gauge. It's a really fine gauge knit. It 
feels somewhat weighty, so it will be good in the transitional seasons, but it will also be really good, I think, when the weather really gets chillier, especially if you wanna wear like a t-shirt or something underneath it, or you're gonna be wearing a wool coat over it. I picked mine up in a size extra, extra large. It does come in sizes extra, extra small through 7X. This color is called Charcoal Heather. It does come in 11 colors, and it is 40% viscose, 35% nylon, and 25% modal. It does have a really nice fit. It has a really nice drape. I really do like it and I love this dark gray color. For me, gray is doesn't matter if it's trending or not. I love gray and I will always wear gray. And this is a really beautiful one, but you have 11 colors to choose from. Okay, then we've got another piece that you've seen me wear here on the channel and I've talked about on repeat and that is the Sadie cropped slim vest. The vest trend was super hot during the summer. It continues to trend. I included the vest because I could see wearing the vest with like this little ribbed polo knit underneath it. I think that would look really cute in the fall with a pair of jeans. I think that would look really pretty. But anyway, I picked up the size extra, extra large. It comes in an extra, extra small up through a 5X. I do have it in black. There are three colors. The lighter colors are currently out of stock, I think, and I don't know if Amazon is gonna bring them back. I will also have an alternative for you, actually, that I have personally not tried myself. They are found on Amazon. They've got vests in all kinds of colors and patterns, so I'll be sure to link that as well. Vest itself, though, is made of 65% polyester, 35% rayon. I really like the way that this vest fit. I wore it in Europe. I loved it. It was so nice because it made me feel a little bit more dressy even though I was dressing somewhat casually at times. I think that this vest is a really cute one. If you want to get yourself a really nice tailored vest, then this is one to check out. We're moving away from the Amazon brands here for just a moment. I wanted to talk about the Anarabs, Anarabas, Anarabis two-piece sweater lounge set. I've shown this on my channel before. I loved it. I wore it as an airport outfit and I would not recommend doing that if you're in a warmer area, but it is very comfortable for travel. I will say that. I picked mine up in an extra, extra large. It comes in sizes from extra small to extra, extra large. I got mine in the black. There are 26 color variations available, and this is 100% rayon. This is a lounge set that has gone viral. I love wearing this at home when I've got a day of just editing or just not doing a whole lot, and I don't want to be in my PJs all day. I'll pop this on and if I need to step out to go and do something, all I have to do is pop on a pair of mules or a pair of sneakers, a blazer or a trench coat or something like that over it, and then I'm out the door. So it is one of those things that you can wear at to lounge in, but that is suitable to wear out and about as well if you've got to step out really quickly. I think that this is such a cozy set. I've worn it like three or four times already. If you're following my 100 days of outfits, I've even broken the set apart and worn the pants with a different sweater from Talbot's. I can't say enough good things about it. And I think I need to pick up another one in another neutral color, whether that be gray or beige, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna pick them up. Moving on to this oversized coat again. Again, another piece that I've shown on my channel. I picked it up in a size extra large. It comes in sizes small through extra large. I picked it up in the color camel, but they do have 14 other colors available. It's made of 50% viscose, 30% polyamide, and 20% polyester. So it does have some synthetic fibers to it, but... I really like it anyway. I think that this is actually a really great piece for the fall to winter transition. If you're in a warmer climate, this could actually suffice as your coat because it is not as heavy as a wool coat, but still has the look and feel of a camel coat or a coat. It is what they call a coat again. I think I mentioned that. And it is oversized, so don't be discouraged if it only comes in extra large. I picked it up in that size and it fits fine. This doesn't close, so there's no reason for you to worry about wearing it closed, unless you wanna belt it with one of your own belts. I guess you could do that, but it's not intended to be worn closed. Even if your sizing is higher than a 20 women's, I think you could still get away with wearing this. It's just gonna be a, a, a bit more opened up. I would say give it a try at any rate. See if see how you like how it fits. I love the way it fits. I'm so looking forward to wearing this um, as soon as the weather dips down, the temperatures dip down cold enough for me to actually wear these. 
All right, the next piece is this contrast color crew neck sweater. I picked mine up in a size extra, extra large. It does come in sizes small through extra, extra large. I picked up the color black and white. There are 14 different color variations. It is made of 60% viscose and 40% acrylic. I know it has acrylic and I know a lot of you don't like acrylic. I don't really care for acrylic much myself, but I do like this sweater. It is soft and it's got the viscose to kind of help make it feel not as synthetic. I love having that color contrast, especially because it's a black and almost like an off-white. I can imagine wearing this with a pair of like white or off-white pants and it's gonna look fantastic. I even like wearing it with my black pants. Yes, I do create a horizontal line right across my middle, but I don't care. I think it looks good. I love how I look in it. And if that's a concern for you though, you can tuck it in, get rid of that white stripe around the middle, but you've got the white um, contrast on the cuffs of the arm and on the crew neck of the sweater. I love it. I think that it looks great. And I like the other colorways that they have as well, especially like the red and white one. I think that one's really nice too. So definitely one to consider if you love that kind of style and if you don't mind having a little bit of acrylic. Again, it's very soft. It doesn't feel bad. Now I'm moving on to accessories. I want to talk about these teardrop earrings that are all the rage at the moment. I got mine in the gold plating over stainless steel. They do have them in 12 different finishes and or colors. They are a designer inspired piece. These are inspired by the Bottega Veneta teardrop earrings. These are a little bit smaller than the actual Bottega version, but you can find these in a bigger style. I think they also have it in the bigger style. I am definitely going to grab myself a pair of silver earrings because I feel like silver's having a moment. Really cool trending earring. I really like the fact that they are bold and yet minimal at the same time. I mean, they're not like overly ornate, but they are definitely unmissable. You can definitely see them and it's an inexpensive way of participating in the trend. So I would definitely get, grab these. I think that they're actually quite awesome and I love to wear them. I've worn them a lot. If you're following my 100 days of outfits, you will know that. Now moving on to handbags. I only have three actually. I had to restrain myself with ordering handbags because I really love Amazon handbags. If you are interested in seeing a lot of different handbags that I've tried from Amazon, I will have my Amazon designer inspired video linked in the cards as well as in the description bar down below so that you can check it out. The first one is the Aldo Geralini top handle bag. I have mine in the color natural. It is in the regular size. They do have some colorways in the mini versions as well. They've got seven different colors or finishes. This is designer inspired by like a YSL bag. I've had this bag actually for uh, almost two years now. It's a beautiful bag. I love it because it is in a nude. And so anytime I wear a nude shoe, this is the bag that I usually reach for if I want to match my bag to my shoes. It does have a shoulder strap, so you can wear it as a crossbody, but I much prefer wearing it as a top handle bag. I just like the structure of it. I love the fact that you've got the quilting. I love the fact that you've got that beautiful gold hardware on it. It's just a really, really super nice bag. Now it does come with a little puff ball bag charm thing that I have since gotten rid of. I think I made it a cat toy. I have to say that it is just one of my favorite bags. I love it so much. And I'm always talking about this bag. And uh, if you watch my 100 Days of Outfits, you've seen this bag quite a bit. Next piece is the crossbody snake print bag. I picked it up in the color brown. They have got it in 18 different colorways. This bag is a designer inspired bag by Gucci. It is the Gucci Dionysus bags. This can be worn as a shoulder bag. You can lengthen the chain and you could wear it as a crossbody if you wanted to. I'm a little bit too chubby for that. And so it doesn't sit in the right spot for me. So I usually wear it as a shoulder bag. Guys, I have to say this bag is stunning. I love this bag. And and it is so pretty. I like that snake, that faux snake skin that it has with the contrasting just brown leather. I like the fact that it's got like that hematite or dark gray hardware on it. And I like the fact that you've got the two compartments in the inside, plus you've got a zipper compartment. I mean, it is a really, really pretty bag. One that I would highly recommend, especially if you're looking to give somebody a really nice bag for Christmas. This is a really pretty one. 
All right, and then I brought in one bag for this particular haul. I brought in the Helen Saddle Crossbody Bag. This is by Amazon The Drop. I picked it up in the black croc embossed. They do have one other version in like a snake skin, like a white and brown and gray snake skin. It is vegan slash faux leather. I really like this little bag. I think it's actually quite cute. I love the half moon design. I'm really intrigued by that bag shape. And so I brought this one in. I thought it was really cute. I thought it would make a really beautiful addition to your fall wardrobe or a gift for someone. It is in a really pretty faux leather croc embossed in the black, and it does have an adjustable strap. The strap is kind of, um, I like it, but I'm like, mm, it feels a little bit cheaply made in my opinion, because it just feels like ribbon. I do wish that they had spent a little bit more on the strap. However, you can get a really nice guitar strap from Amazon. That's what I would do because it's a, it would be a little more substantial. Check out my Amazon designer inspired video for that guitar strap. I'll also have it linked down below. All right, moving on to shoes. One of my favorite things to get from Amazon these days. The first one and disclaimer, I have an obsession with cap toe shoes right now. Just going to put that out there. So, you know, the first shoe is the Paulina Cap Toe Mule. I picked mine up in a size seven. They come in sizes five through 13. Mine is the colors natural and black. It does come in eight different colorways. It is made of 100% micro suede. And this particular shoe has a 2.25 inch heel. It is a kitten heel. These shoes I've actually had since I think I got them in April or May of 2021. Yes. And these are a go-to for me. I love these little shoes. They are, of course, very Chanel inspired in this colorway, especially. I like the fact that they've got a slight point. I like the fact that they're mules. I have worn them at home as slippers. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little extra, but I have done that. They're really nice. They're so comfy. I can walk around in them all day long without any trouble. They stay on my foot really well. And I like the fact that they're micro suede. They're a little bit different from the other cap toe shoes that I have, which all of them are different really from each other. But it's like it's when you've got like a huge collection of red lipsticks, but everyone is different. They are. And same with these cap toe shoes. All right, the next one that I have is another cap toe. It is my new favorite, and I am actually shopping for another pair, and it is the cap toe sling back pump. I picked mine up in a size seven. The colorway is nude and black. They do have 12 different colors and finishes, including in the, like a boucle or a tweed. And they are designer inspired by Chanel. They have got a, I wanna say it's about a two and a half, maybe, yeah, it's about a two, two and a half inch heel. I am just floored by these guys. They are so comfortable. I wore these in London for tea and then also walking around Harrods. I also wore these in Paris. I have been wearing these nonstop. You've seen them on my channel a lot when I do my try-ons. These are my go-to. They look very chic. They're very dressed up and yet they're very, very comfortable. They elevate anything that you put them with. So I am considering getting another pair. I just can't decide on which one, but I will be probably picking up another pair during Amazon Prime days. The next shoe is a shoe that I have talked about ad nauseum and I just have to talk about them again. And it is the Amazon, the drop, the Avery sandal. I have mine in size seven. Uh, they come in sizes five through 13. I have them in a black croc embossed, a tan croc embossed and a gold. They do have 37 colors, patterns and finishes. So there's something for everybody in this shoe. They are faux leather and they have about a three and a half, maybe 3.75 inch heel. I don't remember which one. I, I would say it's probably more like 3.75 inch heel, but they are incredibly comfortable for being a heel. And that's because they're not a stiletto. They're a little bit wider in the heel, a lot more stable, really, really great shoe. I think that you can't go wrong with this particular shoe. It's fantastic and super, super versatile. When you know what? Middle of shooting, Angie decides she wants to mow the lawn. Anyway, um, I apologize about any background noise that you might pick up. Let me go ahead and let's do this. So let's do this. So um, I know that wearing strappy sandals during the winter might not be what a lot of you guys do, but if I'm going to a dressier event and I want to wear these, 
odds are we're either parking in a garage or we're going to do valet. So in my opinion, I think these are perfect for a Christmas party as long as you're not going to do a lot of walking outside where it's cold or wet. If you're in a warmer climate though, I know what winters are like, like in Texas, for instance, you might have a warm evening that you might want to wear these out in. I'm always talking about them because even if you're not going to wear them in the winter, in the fall, grab some and wear them during the summer. These are so good guys. So, so good. The next shoe is this crystal bow satin mule. I have mine in a size seven. They come in sizes five through 11. I picked mine up in the black satin. They do have 10 different colors and finishes. And this particular shoe has got a 2.4 inch heel height. These are designer inspired by the mock and mock shoes uh, that were all the rage last Christmas and I think are still going to be trending pretty heavily this Christmas too. I would say if you are interested in these, especially for holiday events, you might want to pick them up now because when I ordered mine, I was really stressed that they were not going to get here in time for the holidays. First of all, they might sell out. Secondly, they may be back ordered. So if you're interested, grab these now just in case they might you know, become super hot like they did last year for the holiday season. So they're really, really beautiful though, really super comfortable. I like wearing these more with pants than anything else. I think that they give a really dressed up, almost like a tuxedo like look. I don't know what, that's what it reminds me of. They look okay with skirts too, but I think that they really, really shine when you wear them with pants. No. The last piece that I have for you is this Babion robe. I have it in the pattern of Peacock and Blossoms. I picked mine up in the size 2X. The colorway that they have describing this one is called Black Blue. I feel like it's more of a teal color. Maybe they ran out of that color. I'm not sure. They do have it in 14 other colorways though, and this is 100% polyester satin. I get a lot of questions from you guys about this robe. I would say grab it. It is beautiful. It's got an inside tie. It's got the sash that ties. It is a beautiful, luxurious robe. It would make a fantastic, fantastic Christmas gift, I think, for the lady in your life that um, really likes having luxurious robes like this, you know, really likes a luxe look for less kind of robe. If you go to the Babion brand, you can find other patterns and other colors and other products. This robe is fantastic. I would highly recommend. I'm leaving you with a few of my Amazon hauls. There's so much goodness there. So be sure to check those out. Thank you as always for spending some time with me today. And I really look forward to seeing you in those videos. Bye.